David, it's a massive Saturday ahead with a big team in at both Flemington and Morfordville. Starting at Flemington, race one over 1,200. Zam Zam comes off a third in the Blue Diamond. Yeah, we're thinking of running her uh, at Mooney Valley where she was so brilliant in a stakes race. Uh, we'll make a decision on the day. So Serene also runs in the first, uh, has her first Victorian start, start drawn barrier two. Yeah, new recruit to the stable. Her track work's been very good. Um, we've taken the blinkers off her. Uh, we've taken a bit of a fresh approach, but I can tell punters her track work's been outstanding. And the very promising Colt Seaburg runs in race two of 1400, uh, the group two size produce. Yes, uh, didn't have the best of luck. Um, sure to be one of the main dangers. Um, should get a good run from barrier one. Um, looking forward to seeing him go around at seven furlongs. He or she runs in the blamey, race four over a mile. Yeah, I, I think at this stage of his career, he's, he's probably best kept to a mile. We'll find out Saturday. We rode him a bit close the other day, as it turned out. Uh, so he'll be ridden patiently and produced for one big run late. The impressive last start, uh, Group 2 winner Catch a Fire, runs uh, in race 5, the Group 2 Cooney over 1400. Look, she's uh, looks like she's held a form. It's a really good Cooney, but uh, you couldn't leave her out of the numbers for sure. She uh, should get a good run and dominate the race. Two runners in the new market, race 6 over 1200. Let's start with Churchill Dancer. Yeah, he's been set for it. We haven't run him for a while, but his last run was very good and he seems in similar form. And it's a handicap and he's well weighted. Patrick Maloney rides Keen Array with just 50 kilos on his back in the new market. Yeah, we, he, I'm really looking forward to seeing him down the straight. Um, he ran a shocker in the Oakley Plate, which, shock, which really surprised me. Uh, we might have rode him too close and put him under too much pressure. We'll just let him get into his big stride and hopefully he'll bounce back off no way. Three runners in the Group 1 Australian Cup, race 7 over 2000, the first of which is last year's runner-up, Extra Zero. Yeah, he's in similar form to last year and always runs well at Flemington. He'll be allowed to balance and come down the outside. And uh, if they're swooping, I wouldn't leave him out of the, uh, out of the numbers. Al Moonquith uh, has drawn barrier 7. Yeah, he's been set for the Sydney Cup. He's a little bit fitter than last time. And his track work Tuesday was first class. I expect him to improve quite a bit from his first up run. Rising Romance, the third of our runners in the Australian Cup. Probably the stable elect. Um, she won't get as far back because she's the first time she's drawn a barrier in a long time. And uh, a little bit of rain about will only help her. And she's got a great record at Flemington. She's been placed, beaten in photos in two group one. So um, we're really hopeful we can go back to back cup winner here. If Jewel accepted with Sacred Eye, uh in Melbourne or Sydney? Yeah, no, we're heading to Sydney. Um, it's a, a much better race. She doesn't didn't come in that well at the weights at Melbourne, being a Group 2 winner. And then Sydney at set weights, and she's the highest rated filly. And I'd love to give her a look around Rose Hill uh, before the Group 1 winery. So she's in race 6 at Sydney over 1,500. And while we're on Sydney, uh, David Lionhearted runs in race 2, uh, Group 2 over 1,200, barrier 12. Yeah, he's drawn the outside twice in Sydney. Um, but he really uh, ran excellent race and he's improved. Um, if he gets a, a decent run in transit, he'll be very competitive. Closing out the day at Flemington in race nine is Petrology, he resumes over the 1400. Yeah, um, Gelding uh, could be the big improver and get back to his three roll form before he got too culty. Shadwell is sponsoring the day at Morfordville on Saturday, hence we've got a nice team of Shadwell horses running. Genoa runs in the first over 1100. Yeah, she's improved from a first up run. I think she'll run very well. Commands Philly Noaf makes her debut in race two. Further she goes, the better she'll be. Um, but we're looking forward to seeing her. She's an expensive yearling, very good looking filly. Two runners in the third over 1950, all Burns. Yeah, getting ready for Oatbank. I'd be a bit surprised if he won here. But uh, uh, I think he's in for a good prep as soon as he gets jumping. How about Lacqua? Um, probably the stable elect. Uh, uh, first trial at the distance though. Schaff runs over the thousand in the fourth. Yeah just narrowly got beaten in Adelaide last time he was there and he's been freshened up and kept for this so hopefully um, he can break through. He's a tricky horse to catch. So Hall resumes from a spell in race six drawn out in 16. Yeah he'll go back and look for him running on. He's been set for the SA Derby. Mahani runs in the seventh. Uh, probably one of our better chances I think um, he's been working very well in private and brings some good Melbourne form to Adelaide. And race 8 Salamat drawn out in 17. Yeah, this will test our jock. Um, he's got blinkers on. 
uh, if he doesn't work too hard, he, he could come back to his first up form, which was pretty good. And your best of the weekend, Dave? Oh, gee, it's very, very tough weekend, an exciting weekend. But I'd probably like Mahani in Adelaide. I like Sacred Eye in Sydney from the Good Barrier as an each way. And in Melbourne, oh, I like this horse Seabird. I think he'll be a good one for everyone to follow. And Rising Romance is a great each way chance.